any advice yeah. if I were to start getting back into fighting games? Well, uh, keep an open mind, spend a lot of time in practice mode. Um, don't be afraid to get your butt kicked. Let me lose your part <laughs> of the process. <laughs> But I switched from Street Fighter to Mortal Kombat like very early on in that time. So I haven't been as excited about Street Fighter for a while until for some reason this one. And it seems like maybe I chose a right time to get back in because you're saying this might be the best Street Fighter game in over a decade. So let's start with that headline. Uh, why do you think it could be the best one in over a decade? Well, it's definitely the best one in a while in terms of breaking in new players. They, it has three different patrol schemes. Um, the, the one that oh, probably most new players would um, jump on is modern. Um, and there's also a dynamic control scheme that's a bit more user-friendly. I almost feel that one is almost an accessibility one because you can pull off controls with, even if, let's say, you're missing fingers. Uh, because it's like very, it only requires like a small number of inputs to pull off special moves. Uh, but those don't offer an advantage over the classic um, control scheme, which is more what most uh, veteran players gravitate to. Nice. And uh, it seems like this game has added some pretty unique game modes and has quite a bit of variety. Uh, what are some of the modes that really piqued your interest with this? Uh, they have, how would I say it? They have one mode, it's like stream battle mode. Um, it kind of throws in obstacles, almost like Smash, if you will. Um, there's a, there's a, in one case, there's a bull that runs through the screen. You can combo your opponent off of it. There's also uh, their uh, like kind of world tour mode where you can put their very in-depth creative characters, like their... Um, it's like an RPG essentially. Uh, you get you start off with uh, the new character Luke as your first coach. So those are the moves you're gonna be getting right out of the gate. But then as you progress through the story, you'll find more characters to learn from. Um, they become your teachers, and you can pick up your moves as you go, as you go. Uh, and then then they have their new online lobby, the Battle Hub, uh, which is great because that offers a variety of modes as. Well, uh, yeah, ranked, yeah, um, casual, as well as there's an arcade within that arcade that offers a cat classic Capcom games. We're talking to Jason Payne, writer for But Why Though on Gaming Morning Show, talking about Street Fighter Six, which is out today. I've long remembered characters being so central to uh, and more iconic, I guess, maybe with Street Fighter, right? Um, even my son who started to play Super Smash Bros. And so it started to bring up some of the Street Fighter characters who were in that game. And we've kind of bonded over that. Share with us some of the new characters for Street Fighter 6 and what you thought so far of the overall storytelling of this game. Uh, well, I have two favorites. Um, I mean, Luke is their new uh, poster boy. I feel that they're trying to push, but my two favorites are uh, Marisa and Menon. Uh, Menon's a French judica. Um, her moves are very, even her setups are very much like you'd see in judo. Her, her uh, style is about pulling their opponents in to set up these throws. And um, Marisa is an Italian pancreation fighter. Um, I don't know if you watch MMA, but her entire skill set is pretty much everything you would see in mixed martial arts because Pancreation is a forefather of modern mixed martial arts. And they both have the same um, vocab bo um, person, um, Kana Watanabe. Um, she fights for Ryzen and Bellator, and which is why their moves look so true to life in the video game. And as far as the storytelling, the storytelling, um, as far as like the arcade mode goes, it not drawn out or anything it's very like straight to the point the storytelling this time around is more about the player's character versus the, what the um the characters offer offering like arcade mode like yeah it's like fun but it's like super quick but you're gonna get more story out of doing the world tour well, it's exciting. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play one of the Street Fighter games, except maybe I think PlayStation Plus had Street Fighter Five for like a little bit of time. 
Any advice yeah. if I were to start getting back into fighting games? Well, uh, keep an open mind. Spend a lot of time in practice mode. Um, don't be afraid to get your butt kicked. I mean, losing part <laughs> of the process. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and just, like, keep at it. Um, even if you do have to start in, like, modern mode or dynamic and just work your way up from there just to learn the mechanics. Um, but, yeah, don't be afraid to, like, start at, like, square one. If Hear that, Sean? Start at square one. We can become fighting game bros as well. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, Jason, if anyone wanted to follow you and kind of keep up with the work that you do, whether it's for But Why Though or elsewhere, what is the number one social media handle for them to follow? All right. It's going to be on Twitter. That uh, Let me spell it out for you. <laughs> It's, it's going to be a grappling polymath on Twitter, or you can just look up my name, Jason Payne. But my Twitter handle is G R A G R A P P L N polymath. Perfect. And we do have that link through to our chat. Jason Payne of But Why Though, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today on Gaming Morning Show. All right. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank that was you. a pleasure. Uh, fantastic to have Jason with us this morning. And talking fighting games, which I know, as I, I mentioned, Sean has. Uh, I don't think you you retired from <laughs> from those kind of games. You just never were really into them. Yeah, that career never never started. Um, I I've had interest in many fighting games in the past, different iterations of uh, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat in particular. Uh, but it, I've just never dived deep enough to actually get proficient with any fighting game. Um, it's never been anything like I'm naturally good at, so I've never picked one up and been like, oh, this is this was meant for me. It would definitely be a slog of like really doing some homework to learn how to play a fighting game properly. Um, and I've I've just never gotten to that point. Um, I do enjoy watching them and especially uh, watching friends play. So I'm excited for Street Fighter Six. Uh, either way, either I watch you or maybe I give it a shot. <laughs> 